Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Tanaj. And I'm Faustino. <laughs> and if you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to our channel yet, please do so. Please do so because that helps us out a whole lot. So today what we're going to do is we are going to kind of finish up on our kitchen area per se. Last what was it yesterday yesterday we put out a video so if you guys haven't had a chance to check out that video uh try and check it out and uh tell us what you think about it but what we're doing now is we're gonna put in our tanks and uh hopefully wrap up this kitchen thing all right guys so i don't know if you can hear me but today we're installing our basically our drain uh tank and that's where it's gonna get positioned and that's a 23 gallon uh gray water tank uh, and basically the shower is going to drain through here, through this hose, through the frame and it's going to basically dump off in his tank right here. And that's a breather valve and this is going to be our discharge ball valve. And then this T, this actually is going to connect the kitchen sink into this side. And it's basically going on the left side, driver's side of the uh, vehicle and that's how it looks like underneath and you can see that you can't see it so that's what we're doing today uh, we're also going to install our uh, I guess not our uh, it's electronic ball valve so we can drain it with a push of a button uh, we're going to be using some other uh, fittings obviously some PVC stuff I'm gonna avoid with all the small details. I'm gonna get through this and try to show you what it looks like uh, before and after. And uh, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, put plumber's tape on all our, uh, our threads. All right, now that we've uh, threaded everything, we're gonna uh, go ahead and PVC glue these two. All right. Now we go ahead and put the cement on. Just use the uh, primer. So now that the uh, PVC pipes have been glued, we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut out the holes inside of the tank. So let's, uh, let's put this away. All right, so now that we've cut our holes out, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the PVC uh, uh, pipes on and we're gonna tighten these up All right guys, so now I'm gonna install the uh, electronic ball valve and uh, Have to make a run to the store Completely forgot about getting we actually had to get another uh, half inch to uh, a one inch adapter So the final product will look like this underneath the vehicle So uh, I made this off camera. So basically this is just the way the hose is gonna be running through the, uh, the A-frame of the vehicle. And in your situation, it'll be different. Depends on how you run your, uh, your plumbing. So next thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna raise this tank right into this little area right above us. All right, so right now this tubing that I created earlier, I'm gonna run it through the A-frame. I'm gonna uh, run it through now. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. So our tank, I'm using this hose. I'm going to run through that. A hole in the frame, and it's coming out through there. And that sits here. And this is where the tanks are going to meet. So our tank is going. Right about there. That's definitely a good spot. It's nice and snug. It almost holds itself in, but we're definitely gonna strap this down. And actually, uh, so I just tightened up these uh, three hose clamps. You wanna make sure that you're able to uh, have access to them again. So make sure you, when you tighten them, you tighten them in a the position where you can uh, get to them again. All right, so now the hoses are connected over here. I'm going to do the, uh, I guess I call it the scariest part, is actually I have to cut right here into this drainage pipe. I'm gonna connect another uh, PVC fitting and we're gonna make this a 90 degree turn this way. Uh, so somewhere around, right around there is when I'm making the cut. All right, so 
so there you have it this is connected these are tightened these are tightened and connected everything is good water should drain into this tank so I think what I'm gonna do next is uh, cut the uh, strapping that we're using to hold this uh, tank on okay so uh -oh. excuse me sir so this is where all the magic has been happening how has the magic been happening you ask and I haven't been present I know you have to get on. I see uh, there's like a it's rib wrap around the yeah, other I wanted to go uh, on, on the rib over the rib like see that rib that's kind of like yeah, right so it's gonna go, yeah it's gonna go on the back side of the rib yeah uh -huh. so it just put on the first strap and I'm working on the second one uh, I'm gonna put this other one right here can't really put one right here I got like it's a real tight spot to try to get the drill between here and here man if I had an angle head uh, drill it would work better our tank has been mounted I know it looks kind of uh, I don't know what, what would you call this tonight <coughs> sporadic okay all right all right well I know it looks kind of, you know what I, I, I got a word I know it looks very I guess crude the way these straps crude, crude I guess I don't know like the way the straps are just running there but I definitely believe that they're gonna hold uh, we also installed our uh, electronic ball valve and we ran electricity to it and it's a 12 volt and it's actually going through our nature's head exhaust uh, vent so you can see that the cable's going through there and we also put some insulation on these uh, three-quarter uh, inch nylon ho nose hoses to keep it from uh, freezing or keep that water from because there is some water that kind of lingers in there. All right, so right now we're getting ready to test the uh, electronic ball valve. So now, do you want to hit the button? All right, she's about to hit the button. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh yeah. It's draining. All right. All right. So, excuse the mess. This is the construction zone. So, this is our drainage tank. Uh, don't know how big it is. It might be 10 gallons. It might be 15. But I just made a hole to put this PVC pipe that's going to go right there. And that's going to drain. Our sink is going to drain into here. And I'm going to show you where that's going to go. It's going to actually go in here. And that's where the sink is. But the sink is currently right here right now because I am uh, working on it. So we just put uh, plumber's tape on this uh, on the drain. And we also put some uh, plumber's putty on this side of the drain. And we're getting ready to drop this in the uh, sinkhole. So this is the area underneath the sink and that's going to be where our propane is going uh, and then it's going to line, the hose is going to feed to the gas along the back wall and right through there. And I'm going to show you where the water tank is going to go right in there. So that's where the tank is going and the drain we're going to put a uh, a nest pipe right here and it's going to drain to right there so right now what I'm doing is applying the uh, silicone to the tank and then I'm going to apply some to the uh, to the joint and we're going to go ahead and then just put it in the hole and let it dry and uh, seal it up all right now that that's uh, been fully dried and we uh, I put two coats on it I'm um, gonna we'll slide this back in and then we're gonna connect the sink to the tank so now this S trap is going to go there. And this is going to drain into this. All right, guys. So this is the final piece to the drainage system from the sink to the tank, and it's basically going to go like this. This goes in there. Oh shit! And then we're going to slide him over right here. He's going to slide up into him, and sink drain 
container. That's what I'm gonna call it. <clears throat> so the only thing left to do is to actually make a hole on the other side so that we have a way to drain this tank. All right, so right now I'm, uh, I'm gonna PVC cement these two fittings that are gonna go into the uh, drain tank. And it's going in like this. So we're going with a one inch drain on our uh, kitchen uh, tank. And right now I'm gonna just spread both of these. Forgot to hit the record button, but we just made the hole where the uh, fitting, the drain fitting is gonna go. So right now we're about to uh, try to caulk this into that hole without, there's really not much room. This is really gonna take like a lot of caulking to cover this up. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna use silicone. So, end up making the hole just a little bit bigger than it should have been made. So I had to put, but it, it, it still fit, still within the hole. We just had to put a little extra clear silicone to seal it up. <clears throat> hey guys, what's going on? So I don't know if you can hear me. I got the AC running in the back, but uh, yesterday I showed you guys how we uh, the silicone this in and I was really wrong. That was, uh, so don't do that, don't do that. So I'm gonna show you what should have been done. We ended up having to get this water, uh, water well to hold that PVC to our plastic uh, water tank uh, that's gonna drain from our kitchen. And basically it feels like plumber's putty. You just basically warm it up and put it around and apply and that's it. So now I'm gonna uh, show you what it looks like after about two hours, it's dried up. And then now I'm gonna silicone it and then we're gonna flex seal it. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is put a nice bead of silicone around it. Just as a little extra measure of protection. It's definitely gonna be leak proof. This is a, this is a lot. Okay guys, now, all right everybody, now that the caulking is basically dry, just put some blue uh, tape right here to protect it from flex seal that we're about to put on it and this will be our last uh, line of defense so that it doesn't leak all right guys so this tank is sealed we did a good job with the JB well and caulking so this is not going to leak probably ever yeah it's good it's a good one so we're getting ready to drop this into the underneath the kitchen sink. All right, guys. Had a big epic failure just now, so as I was tightening the fitting on here, it uh, I ripped it off because I was over tightening. Pretty pissed off about that. So I'm gonna go with uh, we're gonna try this. Uh, we're gonna try this bonding. We're gonna go with this one first. And I believe we're gonna go with this one second. And if needed, we're gonna go finalize it with this one. All right guys, so yesterday I was twisting this on when I broke it. I just twisted the new one on, and I'm not gonna twist it anymore. So right now what we're gonna do is put on the uh, the ball valve, and it's gonna go like that. And then he's gonna go on the end. As soon as I get him on like that, and that's basically how it's gonna look. I'm not gonna bore you with the details. I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, and do it. All right, guys. So we're gonna we got water in the sink, and we're gonna test it to see if our drain is sink uh, leaking. Go ahead. Yeah, it leaks. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! All right, no leaks under the sink. Just had to tighten uh, this one up. The sink just drained into the tank and we have no leaks right here. Everything is dry right up in there. And then this is basically right here. When I when I turn this ball valve, all the water from the tank should release out this hose and end up out there somewhere. I just turned the ball valve and the water is draining. All right, so now I'm going to connect. Uh, Connect our propane. The reason why these small propane tanks that you can find at Walmart or basically almost anywhere. So we're gonna connect that and then see what happens. 
All right, I'm about to hit record. I mean, I'm about to turn the gas nozzle on down here. All right, so I think gas should be flowing. Okay, okay. Let's just step outside so I don't like the sound of it. Why is it, what's going on? I don't know, I turned it off because you're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-uh, you can't leave. Baby, it don't make no sense for both you of us to blow up. <laughs> you cannot leave this location. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So what's going on? Well, as soon as I have the gas, the gas line has to go through, you know, the gas. Right, I understand. So it's going to take a while. So I got to record it, though. All right, let's go, ready? <laughs> where, where you at, though? I'm right here. So this is what happens after a fire and you spray fire extinguisher. So we're going to clean this up and find out what's going on. All right, guys, so <clears throat> yesterday there was a fire, and I believe it had something to do with this little culprit. Um, you got to get the regulator just right, so you have the uh, just enough, uh, just the right amount of propane spewing, or because if, if you do too much, obviously you get a fire, and if you do too little, it won't light. Uh, so we managed to find the correct, I guess, how far to turn the knob to get the right gas. And right now we're basically going to put this fitting back on, tighten them up, and the stove is going back in. And this is all the soot from the fire extinguisher. We cleaned it up this morning, but clearly not enough. It's all over the van. We tried our best, so here we go. Time to get back to work. Alright guys, so just put the stove back in. Put this uh, fitting on, we needed an elbow because if it goes straight down, our drawer runs into it. So I'm getting ready to connect that gas line to that. And then we're gonna test for leaks with uh, some soap and water. All right, now we're gonna just tighten that up with the wrench. Okay, one more. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is gonna connect the propane to the regulator and the hose and then we're going to run our little uh, gas leak test with some soap and water all right so now we're going to put them back into place all right so we got it in and we uh, did a little test earlier and we said we're going to go with basically i can hear the gas flowing and i'm going to spray some uh you see any bubbles no bubbles so it's a good seal all right our second uh, test will be here on this uh, valve or I guess on this fitting I don't see any uh, bubbles it's okay, so clearly that didn't go very well so I think that uh, we've taken care of everything and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try it again and uh, fingers crossed Hopefully we won't burn our van down before we actually get started with van life. All right, we got fire, no leaks, no explosions. We got fire, now we can start cooking. Good job, how do you feel? Feeling good, feeling good. Let's turn this off. Feeling one hot, feeling hot. It is hot. <laughs> All right guys, so. That wraps up this video. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe and there's another one coming out. I don't know what to say after that. Let's go. <laughs> Do